Hello, that's Sam Clay from TFMX Dog EK and XG247. We're back with uh, Left 4 Dead 2 and Chet Falsek. How are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. So at the, um, at the event today, what are you showing off? Uh, today we're showing on Dark Carnival. People are playing all the way through. They get to see the uh, finale, which is a big rock show. You get to use some fireworks. You get to set off stage pods that sudden things on fire and all kinds of chaos. It is um, a pretty messy level. Is it one of the, the ones towards the end of the, of the carnival? Yeah, so uh, Dark Carnival, you start off at the freeway. Um, you, you From dead center, you've gotten that far, running a big traffic jam. And then you actually go to the carnival. We have all kinds of crazy stuff. And then in the, back in the States, uh, carnivals are well known for having kind of washed up bands playing at them. And so we have uh, the Midnight Riders playing the finale. And uh, the, the, the uh, survivors realize that uh, they see a helicopter in the distance. And one way to signal them would be to set off the uh, Midnight Riders finale. That's pretty cool. Um, we spoke about the difficulty for the game, uh, a Eurogamer. As playing the single player, definitely feeling this teamwork. So um, how have you racked up the difficulty? Is it the amount of stuff going on, or have you just improved the AI? Well, really, we haven't. It's, uh, um, we, we haven't. It's, it's just as easy or as hard as the first one was. We've been very careful about that, okay. because there's a lot of people who just like to jump in, play co-op. And it's just not about the difficulty, it's about the experience. So you want to play with your friends, you want to have this time where you're seeing your friends vomited on and everything else, and you're, you're laughing and having a good time, not just, oh my god, i got to be an expert player. You know, we definitely want Love for Dead has expert players, and they play on expert. We have normal players who just jump in and play on normal. Uh, today at the show, it, you see one of the problems of not being a good team. Yes. It's very loud in there, very hard to communicate, so people go well, no on. No one talks, no really. It's helping each other, and they're dying. No. But, but then the other thing is, obviously, you're exploring. You're exploring this nice new level that you've never played before. Sure. So when you play it for the first time, what are you recommending? Like, just completely stick together and then do it third time round and have a look? Explore together. Okay. How about that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't think that one over. But um, we, we looked at, uh, in the level, other than the fireworks, the roller coaster. Bit, bit crazy, that roller coaster. So you set it off for? Yeah, so at some point um, you get stuck kind of behind a series of fences and you can see where you need to go in the distance. And the only way to get there is by running the roller coaster. So who hasn't want to run the roller coaster killing zombies? <laughs> exactly. It, it, you get ten a chainsaw times better. going, it's, it's the perfect thing. Oh, yeah, you on the roller coaster doing yeah. it all. You okay. Actually, you actually run up and down the roller coaster track. That is brilliant. So um, we're talking about difficulty and um, sticking together. Obviously, you can tell that the, the, the map was made for that, all the really small corridors and everything breaking through the walls and stuff. Now, we spoke about realism mode. How you can enable that on each level, and will it change the level completely? Or? Well, so, uh, realism mode, you can play on any skill level. You can play it on easy if you want, or you can play it on expert. Okay. Um, and what realism mode's for is we have a, there's a lot of people who play Left 4 Dead... Uh, every week or every certain period with their friends um, with their <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks uh, that guy uh, with, with you know people they work with um, and they it's the same team every week and so we wanted something that just wasn't harder for individuals like making zombies harder to kill and you easier to die we wanted something that challenged the team so like the first thing we did was remove all the glows okay. and the minute you do that you, you better communicate well because you because no one's when you get 100 pounds no one can see you yeah 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 no one knows you're 100 pounds. Oh, okay. You actually yeah, have yeah. to yell out, hey, I'm 100 pounds, here's where I am, right? I'll let the um, And uh, things, then there's other things like the witch can just kill you with one swipe. Oh, is it like before or not in, so much? Just in realism, right? Okay, yes. and, so, and so that means you better work really good as a team. When you see a witch, especially like in uh, hard rain where you, there's multiple witches in sections, you have to work really tight and really well together. Nicely stuff. Um, talking about the witch... Uh, one thing that I've noticed with the witch this time around, it walks around. It, it's, it communicates with other people, I guess. Um, is that a difficulty decision or like? Well, no. So that, that's actually uh, one of the things we wanted to make sure was all the campaigns felt very different, played very different, and were very different. Okay. And so some of them take place during daylight, some of them place take place at various times of night. Or you know, so we have some dark levels, we have some light levels. During the light levels, you actually see the witch get up and walk around. Right. So during the dark night levels, like in, uh, in, in uh, Dark Carnival, she'll actually stay put. Okay. She'll be the classic witch you've, you've come to know and fear. Uh, in Hard Rain, where it's daylight and there's multiple, Evil. you'll actually see them wandering around. Okay. So. Um, and a decision that I found quite confusing in the first one, in the multiplayer, you couldn't play as the witch. Has that changed? Or? Well, what are you going to do as the witch? You're going to sit there and go, come on, piss me off, come on, piss me off. And yeah, why not? Give me the cry key? No. No, but... 
no. It was it was a crying games. Well, seeing as you can walk around, kind of now. Why? Well, no, 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 no. It's just evil. No. Um, still one shot to the head. It's going to die or not? Um, she, you can still handle her the same way you did previously. But when she's walking around, it just gets a little harder to do that well. Okay, it's a bit mental. Excellent. Um, other thing about the multiplayer. So in Left 4 Dead 1, when you shipped it on the Xbox, you can only play one of the maps. Two. Um, two of the, the maps, campaign. yes. Online, that was. Um, is that cha- uh, are, you, are they all playable now? So, um, camp- yeah, when we ship the game, um, all the campaigns will have uh, co-op. They'll all have survival mode. Yes. They'll all have versus mode, and they'll all have scavenge mode. So every single one will be totally playable out of the get-go. Nicely stuff. Um, a few mentions for versus mode. As I played it with my friends for Left 4 Dead 1, you could do combos with certain like zombies. You could you could um, be sick on one, and then the hunter could go in there and mess it all up. Um, any any new additions? to obviously you got new characters uh, and new zombies. New combos. Yeah, you'll see all kinds of new cool combos, and you'll see the AI doing them as well. Like just watching in there, I saw uh, the hunter pouncing someone, and the spitter nicely coming right above them and just spitting on them, which you know just increases the damage they're taking. Uh, they'll be really evil like that. You'll see the jockey running people off. Uh, the jockey and uh, smoker are still great uh, creatures that pull people out of position and let others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get them out of the way. The charger. Someone gets jockeyed, and you see the charger come hit them, or uh, you know, all kinds of combos like that. You see the charger deposit someone really far away. When they come to get rescued, the jockey will be laying and wait to like ambush it. them, take that person running off. That's what I like. It definitely uh, teamwork really works well, and uh, doesn't really help when you're playing with journalists you've never spoken to anyway. Yeah, yeah, and some of them may not even speak English. So <laughs> exactly, no, no, just the sign language. That's what I go for. You know, lead writer for the game. Where would where would he go to hide when zombies actually attack her? Well, I go to the Valve offices. Are they pretty pretty close um, down? Uh, Gabe has a large collection of knives, um, so we have a lot of melee weapons there. There's a lot of food. We've got we've got big uh, snack area, a lot of snacks, a lot of a lot of water and food. It'd, it'd be where I'd go, and we have locked doors, so you know, I have my key card. I'd get in, I'd close it behind me, and not let even coworkers in. You need to work on a movie, I think. There you go. I, yeah, <laughs> the, the valve office uh, staving off the infection. <laughs> and the uh, final question: lots of emails in. How do you keep up with your beard? That's that's quality. Thank you. Uh, I, I uh, during crunch, it just becomes a easier thing to let the the beard go. Yeah. Got to shave this neck thing though. I don't know. It's getting out of control here. Was the original Left 4 Dead um, character? Oh, I forget his name. Was that based on you? With the beard. Um, Zoe? No. <laughs> Lewis? The, old, the older guy. Bill? Bill, yeah. I'm not that old. No, come no. on, come on. I'm not that old or cranky. <laughs> I'm not near that cranky. I should hope not. You, you've really, uh, really shown that zombies would never mess with you, I don't think. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much, Chet. And um, November 20th? November 20th. Demo's Looking. out now. Um, so if you pre-order, you can get the baseball bat. You can discount. So, you know. But a baseball bat is in a physical one or in the yeah, in-game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the uh, in-game baseball bat. Ah. So, Baseball bat's fun to hit zombies in the head with. Of course, uh, you people in the UK make for the cricket bat. So. I don't know. Not, I'm not a big fan of cricket, I might admit. It's a bit boring. It goes on for a bit too long. I, I have found, uh, when I get back to my hotel room, uh, watching some cricket matches is a great way to lull myself to sleep. I think I've got the rules. <laughs> yeah, that's I can't understand it. But it's kind of like baseball. It's not yeah. really that intense. It's kind of, you know. You have to wait half an hour until someone hits the ball uh, in a good direction or gets anywhere. But um, November 20th release yep. and you're looking forward to it i get excellent excellent sam good clay <laughs> as ever sam clay two from x out <laughs>